Hey, what is going on guys? Sporty Clash here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Hammer Jam type of style video. I don't know why I kept doing that. It's a drum, but it's also a ham. I feel like this could be a cool ham. Anyway, we got a sad, sad day. We have a lot of gems to spend. And I don't mean on finishing buildings. I'm talking about our lovely, our wide open... That sounded weird. Goblin Builder. That is right. End of Season Loot is here. We have a lot of End of Season Loot. We have 50 million gold elixir and almost 700,000 dark elixir. Now, unfortunately, we will not be using any dark elixir in this video because we have 7 hours and 37 minutes into... Actually, no, no, no. We are going to be using it. Sorry, I'm gemming it. I did mention that. I did just remembered. So we're going to be spending a lot of end of season loot and a lot of gems. Oh my god, dude, I'm not ready for this. Here we go. Let's just let's just get it over with right here right now, right? Finish the upgrade with gems. 89 gems. Boom, done, dude. I'm going to be out of gems. Oh my god, I'm going to be out of gems. Okay. So, we have a book of heroes that I do want to use this season because um I'm going to have another book of hero. Uh, no, I want to, but I need to use it. I do need to use it. So we are going to upgrade since the high, the longest daytime is Lassie. We're going to use the book of heroes on Lassie. Now I did just spend almost 200. I just accidentally just did it, but here we go. We just spent it. And then we're going to spend another, we're going to do mighty yaks this time. So our Phoenix is fully upgraded. So we are going to finally equip that on the archer queen there. Now we're going to do, I think I want to do diggy, but I also want to do the mighty yak because it gets me through wall pretty well so we are gonna do the mighty yak which is eight days which is another two hundred and nine thousand. so that free that frees up a lot of dark elixir dark elixir is done Woo! we're done with dark elixir plus also i just realized seven days and 23 hours is the time and the next town hall per se when's hammer jam i was looking for the thing hammer jam's over in eight days and 15 hours so we are gonna have some dark elixir to spend so hopefully we'll max out and stuff like that so Dark, dark elixir is done now here comes the most painful part of this entire video and i know i'm going to see a lot of people type away about why don't you just wait i have two days and eight hours i just spent five builder things through the um i just spent five builder potions through the league shop because i wanted to get this video out here and plus i want to get max as quick as possible now i know what you're thinking dan just absolutely spend the gems on a new building right like just upgrade something i don't even know what i have left to upgrade actually seeking air mine right spend the gems of 400 gems on a seeking air mine and just call it a day no no i'm a youtube channel i gotta i gotta push as much as i can out there so we're gonna be spending 10 gems per wall with 50 million elixir okay here we go let's do this all right so 50 million elixir 10 gems oh my gosh this is and it's 4 million each dude it is 4 million each we honestly for the first time in my clash of clans life i might run out of gems like i legitimately might run out of gems and i'm not ready for this moment i sold a lot of stuff from the builder pet oh dude this is terrible this is really terrible at least i'm getting these walls done <laughs> oh my god oh my gosh no okay we're down to 1800 we're down to 1800 this is the lowest i've been in a very long time but what are gems for why are we holding gems i don't know so that's why we're using them here and plus we have to spend another 400 for that one seeking air mine okay we're, oh wait no we're not done we still have the clan castle that i absolutely dude i like was strategically making sure that i had the most amount of loot possible like i'm telling you right now i was strategically thinking about this all right, that'll probably be the last of it, it seems like. Let me just see what we could do here. See if we can round her up. Let's see, is there enough? No, sold out. Okay. All right. Now, we are probably going to spend one more, it seems like. I'm going to buy... I know this is going to seem way crazy, but we are really close to it. So, I'm just going to buy that. And that way, we can just get even lower. So, there we go. That was a lot of gems, but we got a lot of walls done. We have 129 walls left. We could do that in eight days. We 100% can do that in eight days. All right, we got two days and eight hours until the next free builder is available. So we got some time to stock up. We got 50 million gold here. What's the move? 
What's the move skip? So we got air bombs and walls to do. Air bombs are 5 million. I do not have a book of building. I do not have a book of anything. I don't believe so. Let me check. Yeah, it's just, I do have a, where did I get this from? <laughs> where did I get that from? Oh my God. I have to spend more gems. I have to spend more gems. Because I have Rune of Elixir. <laughs> Why wouldn't I use it right now? Oh, this is going to be rough. It's fine. It's fine. Rune, add it. Here we go. Another round of walls. Okay, so right now we have 129 walls. Let's see how many we can get done here. Do we have a crap ton of walls like that we've gotten done today? A lot of gem spending, but again, what are gems for? Why hoard gems? It's, you know, it's just like I was thinking about the potions. Like, why hoard them? They're going to be used. I think that was it. All right. We now have 124 walls left. It's pretty good. Almost down to top 100. You know what I mean? So, we got 50 million gold left. We have two days until the next builder. Two days. I can get maxed loot on that one. It's time to spend more gems, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to spend more gems. We have 124 walls left. Oh my goodness gracious. I should just title this a wall video at this rate. Like, are you kidding me? This goblin builder is coming in clutch though, dude. Like, I'm not even going to lie. This goblin builder has really come in clutch. I want to see how many gems I've lost from just this goblin builder alone. We need to make sure that we do have enough. Wait, how much do we have in the clan castle really quick? Just so I can still upgrade that one. We have 4.2 million. Okay, we are solid, dude. Literally, all of it's going towards walls. I don't think we're going to have enough to finish all the walls. But 4 million is a great price that you cannot beat. And that's why we're getting them done now. We're going to do one more here. We are going to do one more. And that will give us enough to not do one more i don't think i don't think we're gonna have enough so what we're gonna do is let's check so it's four million for a wall and five million for a seeking air mine so we are gonna have enough so here we go seeking air mine we got one more right here boom 10 and then we're gonna spend another 400 something gems to get the seeking air mine done. how much is the air bomb actually how much is 360 i kind of want to do that I, I kind of do want to do that because at least I'll have another builder free. So let's get this air bomb done and out of the way. We do have a hammer building, but that is saved for town halls. We've spent seven minutes upgrading walls. How many walls do I have left? Actually, now that I think about it, how many walls do I have left? 112 walls. Yo, we are going to finish this. We are 100% going to finish this. All right, here we go. So let's do a air bomb here so that we can get that done. Let me find which one. All right, boom. Another goblin builder. Back at it again. Here we go. 360 gems gone. Dude, we went from like 2.8k to 1.3k gems. Oh my god. You know what? That's what gems are for, man. That's what gems are for. Alright. I should just title this a wall video at this rate. I mean, like, that was a lot of walls that we just got done. And I'm very happy about that. But now we got two attacks to do. Oh, I got forgot to buy the gold pass, actually. Um, I'll buy that in just a second. I have the Grand Warden Gingerbread. I'll make a video about that real quick. Not now, but... I like the concept. I do like the concept. All right, we'll go over that in a different video, though. But anyway, let's get into our two war attacks. We're going to do two war attacks. Did not know I had two left. There's five hours left, and it seems like... This is what sucks about not attacking early. I'm not going to lie. Not a big fan of this one. But he got a 98% on that one. We're going to try to go low here because I see... We're going to do 6 and 5. We're going to try and 3 star 6 and 5. Let's take a look at it really quick because this would be real... Oh, yeah, yeah. This should be a 3 star. Hopefully, should be a 3 star. We're going to attack this single target Inferno on this side. And that single target inferno. Actually, no, no, we're gonna take this single target inferno because it's got more walls surrounding it. So yeah, we, we should be able to do this. Let's uh get some CC troops real quick, and we should be able to three-star this one. Hopefully. My Phoenix is alive, so my Phoenix is max too. That's super exciting. I was really excited about that one. Alright, let's go, let's see if we can add two stars for my clan here. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. This is practice for CWL, so that's the only reason why I'm doing this. All right, we're going to put in a nice little... We're going to put in some wizards here, actually. We can destroy that with just a wizard. It's low enough to even... Could have put only one wizard. Oh, gosh. Wait, let me put in a... Oh, crap. Wait, let's see if we can get that mortar down with using the wizards. Nice. All right. We should be, get, we should be set 
for this thing over here for the flame flinger and then what we'll do over here is we'll put the grand warden same attack strategy as always but this time it's got to be a little bit more sophisticated because obviously i got to take out certain things we're not gonna worry about but i am gonna jump these spells here oh i should have moved it over definitely could have moved it over a little bit more that's my bad dang that that's a rough one once that single target inferno goes down i do not want that single target inferno locking on just like it is right now oh boy i have to waste my one free spell or my other free spell can it go down can it go down oh please all right we got to start the attack here because my grand warden is going to go too far away and we do not want my grand warden going that far away so spam tack as always of course you guys know the drill but dude super bowlers on rage spell is like phenomenal all right we got to poison something over there we're gonna poison that ice golem over there Woo! gotta use my grand warden ability did not know what was going on there luckily we do have a rage spell once those super bowlers i gotta i gotta look for those super bowlers because that's the one thing i want to rage um hopefully we can get that town hall down shortly yes we can multi-target's gonna mess up my troops there and hopefully we can put one range spell on top of those bowlers right over the eagle so that we can kind of we're gonna put that right there oh i gotta use that don't know where that uh oh okay he got caught in the poison spell that's why i was like what is going on luckily diggy's overpowered as anything could be so i love diggy man as the world champion diggy all right nice little three star picked up there low town hall 15 though so nothing too crazy about it but we're just gonna freeze this why not freeze that archer but dude diggy diggy's overpowered as anything could be i love diggy i should have maxed him out first but the phoenix i need it for the queen on that one because like obviously is that an electro type oh that's mine <laughs> i was like is that a, is that an electro type just kind of cc troop that i never took out nice little three star there again very easy town hall uh 15 low town hall 15 but we're gonna attack the next one here get a nice little extra star for the clan as well as a next nice little three star for me all right let's do one more attack here and we'll get number five going hopefully it won't be too i don't think it'll be too too bad but we're gonna put another cc troops on there and let's see yeah i'm i'm a little scared about number three dude i'm not gonna lie but i'd rather get a guaranteed three star then like help out the clan in a way then take a loot bonus this one's gonna be a little tougher it's got town hall 14 but i'm definitely not attacking from this side because that's death so i probably want to put i'm gonna put in the flame flinger on this side i feel like that could do a lot more damage and stuff like that so we're gonna put the flame flinger on that side gotta get a 51 percent hopefully we can get a three star here last attack of the night and then i'll end the video for you guys because <laughs> i don't want you guys watching the whole thing i feel bad all right let's do this actually no you guys can watch the whole thing. I love when you guys watch the whole thing. All right, flame finger on this side, as far away as possible, and we should be able to get started on that attack. Now, I want to start figuring out where I want to put those jump spells. I do want to put, I think I'm going to put one right there, right here, right there, and then one right in between here to lead to the town hall, as well as. Now, I know this corner is going to be very difficult to get out of alive, so we'll see what happens, but <laughs> they are town hall 50 or town hall 14 stuff, so hopefully we can get out of it. Do not want that Grand Warden going too far. Nice, it's going in. Okay, awesome. I am going to start the attack now. So I'm going to put one there and then one right there to get in between all of those little areas. So now I'm going to start this attack. Ah, uh, couldn't have taken out the wizard. Oh, not going to use my headhunters just yet. Going to save those as long as possible. I'm going to put my first rage right in the middle with a nice little poison cell because I do see an Electro Titan in there. And I am scared of those because those things are overpowered as anything could be gonna put my uh, grand warden ability as soon as we get closer to the thing and then dude three rage spells is like phenomenal get me out of there get me out of there get my troops out of there nice okay here we go we're coming up to the toughest part of the base for sure gonna uh freeze that and freeze this and then i'm gonna put my headhunters as soon as one of them comes in contact which it just did nice i mean granted this is a lower base but still it's still a tough attack my electro titan's in there Oh, crap, dude. We got a whole different side. We had to wait. Oh, gosh. I'm going to freeze the... Oh, I freeze the wizard or the witch or the queen way too early. Way too early on the queen. It's okay. We should be able to take it out, though. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay. Queen's got full health now. Electro Titan's taking a beating over there, but it is taking out those uh, defenses, which is really nice. We do have our Super Bowlers over there. We should be able to three-star this, but it's definitely going to come down to the wire for sure oh crap oh, come on come on 
You got this. Uh, oh, crap. We got another. Wait, what? Why did he switch troops? Why did you... It's fine. It's fine. I don't know why the Grand Warden just switched attack strategies there. Oh, we got the Electro Titan still, too. Nice. Nice little three-star. Two three-stars, baby. I mean, granted, they were both well were Town Halls. If I attacked that upper one, I would have lost. All right, let's use my just ability here. We got the Phoenix in the background. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Nice little three, two six stars to add to the profile as well. Again, they were lower, but I took a loot bonus to hopefully extend our lead a little bit more. And it's now 64 to 49. So they have a lot more attacks left. How did I do defense wise? Yeah, I got two starred. So a lot of walls got done today. We spent 50 million gold. Actually, we spent like 60 million gold, 60 million elixir, and like close to a thousand gems. Not even finishing a building besides the phoenix we did finish the phoenix but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna buy the battle pass or the gold pass hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next episode hi it's stan post after effects you know kind of just thought i ended the video if i bought the gold pass before i finished this video i would have gotten 3.6 gold instead of four might have done one more wall wouldn't have made too much of a difference but i just wanted to you know let you guys know that i did buy the gold pass after the video and uh i forgot you can get like a 10 percent bonus like just the whole thing so uh yeah <laughs> anyway on that note i could have probably bought like two more walls so it really didn't mean too much of a difference to be honest with you like it really did not but just wanted to let you guys know that so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that epic fail that I just absolutely did with buying walls and also defenses. But at the end of the day, I I don't know. It's whatever happens to the best of us. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.